Hey guys, um, it's really early in the morning on Tuesday. Um, I just want to make this video because I had just a lot of anxiety yesterday and a lot of anxiety this morning. Um, and <clears throat> I like slept on it and I, even before sleeping on it, like I, I had this, um, feeling in my heart that I need to, um, that I need to step away from frenemies and it's really, really with a heavy heart that I say that um, because it is kind of like my, it's been my stability, my regular thing once a week that I like absolutely look forward to. And I like, I really love doing the show. Um, but having said that, you know, I, I was reading the comments, the members only one went up and um, a lot of people were upset by my little episode yesterday and I usually wake up the, mor the next morning feeling like regret for the way I acted. But I realized this morning that like I, and then last night, of course, I talked to Ethan and you know, he was saying the crew was really upset with me. Um, and that they didn't want to film the vlog today. And I, I respect that. And I respect him being on their side. And Ethan and I had a lot of text conversations last night. And even before all that, before the crew thing, before the episode even went up, like, um, there was a lot of things that I just didn't feel right about. I want to say first and foremost that the 5% thing and Ethan getting like 100% of the highlights, like, like that's, that's not an issue. That's the money is not the issue from the beginning. You know, I thought that that went towards crew for frenemies and, you know, vlogs for frenemies and all that stuff like that. Like, I really did. And, <clears throat> like, I thought, like, I would have more of a say. And last night, and again, I'm not, there's literally no blame in this on my end. You know, last night, Ethan's like, you know, H3 produces it. You are the talent. And that's when I realized, like, it's different than what I thought it was. Like, I thought we were 50-50 building this show. Um, I'm... Like, I'm, I'm not, like, leaving frenemies is sucks. And, like, I, but, uh, sorry, I'm just getting, like, a little choked up. But my issue bringing that up was when he was, like, why do I have to tell you about things that I'm doing? Like, people I hire and stuff like that. Because he hired someone new, which I have no issue with. Like, it's a lovely person. Like, I don't have an issue with them. But I was, like, oh, I thought, like, I would get to have a say. And we did, before the episode went live, we did have a discussion saying, like, I had a producer in mind that I, that I think would be really, really great for the show. And we would get to do more things. Because there was a couple triggers for me. And, and Ethan says, like, we should have to walk on eggshells. And so many people agreed with him. And, and maybe that is true, right? Like, that, that probably is true. Like, maybe I'm probably seeing something that, like, obviously, or I'm not seeing something everyone else is seeing. So, I don't also want to put him in the position where he has to walk on eggshells because, like, that's not fair to anyone. That's not fair to anyone in my life. That's not fair to some people I work with. Like, like, like that's, that's the vibe, right? And I don't want him to feel that way. And I don't want the audience to be, like, uncomfortable. Like, it's really, but at the end of the day, like, it's really not my place anymore. Ethan, like, you know, the thing that set me off, I was talking about like gay rights and like hate crimes against gay people and trans people. And I really wanted to talk about it. And, and he was just talking over me. And like, again, that's something I should have been like, don't talk over me, you know, just like communicating. And it's like, I just got it. So then we went to the segment part of the show. And apparently that was like this new hire's idea, which I like, I truly didn't know that this new hire did this. And, um, you know, he's like, well, that's rude. And then I was like, well, and then I, I said, and then I said something that it was lazy or something like that. And he's like, well, you don't do anything. But I put up so many ideas for the show. And I like listed them like aerial gymnastics, like dancing with the stars, like clay pottery and the thing. And I like, it just, it just got really frustrating. And I got really, I did get frustrated. And I guess everyone's like, your gaslight was saying you're not. And at the beginning, like, I really thought I was just like being assertive, right? Like just saying how I feel. And then it did get into frustration. Cause I was like, oh God, I could feel it just all like crashing, right? So then when he's like, why should I tell you who I should hire? And I was like, well, I thought that's what the 5% went towards. I don't want the 5%. I even said that to Ethan so many times. I was like, I don't want it. I don't want, you know? And the membership thing, just to clarify, is like when, like, I didn't know about the membership until like six, like maybe like three months into front of me or whatever. So starting from that time that I asked about it is when I was getting 50%. And a lot of people like thought that was, I'm not getting 50% the whole channel, whatever, whatever it was up until like February, like that kept there. And then I got 50% and like, you know, 
if people and if people think that's unfair like you know I guess I guess it is like I don't know what to say like I thought it was fair he, you know I I don't know I just never had an issue with money and I was thankful that he did give me some of the membership because I kept seeing everybody on Reddit on the things like I signed up early and I became a member just to see frenemies early and my solution at the time was to just not include frenemies on the interesting thing because I'm sure he thought it was, I know he thought it was unfair too, because he was like, well, I'll give you like a third or whatever. And I was just like, okay, but if like, for me, as like half the views, like I, I do feel like I contributed half to Frenemies building the H3 channel. Like I would have loved to have Frenemies on my channel and like built up my channel. I could have produced, I could have built sets like I'm capable of this stuff, you know? But I was like, well, it'd be, you know, it'd be nice to get like, because members, you know, ships is a huge thing, whatever. And I'm sure he thought it was unfair too. And I, and I, and I get it. Like, I, I get it. Like, and he, I get now he's saying that H2 produces and he deserves that as a producer. But it's like, I, I would have loved the opportunity to pitch in half for the set to, you know, because I really do feel like I built this show, like, with them, like at 50 50. Like, I don't think I'm the main reason because God knows my channel and my podcast doesn't do like what Frenemies does, you know what I mean? But at the same time, like, H3, I have like it, it wasn't it wasn't doing what it's doing now either. And I feel like I helped build that. And I know this sounds like I'm just being an absolute crybaby about the situation. And like, I just, I guess, all that to say, like, I really am just, well, I think the biggest thing for me is it is the crew issue. And I am so sorry if I came across rude, but like it's so weird because like I don't feel sorry for talking about this and saying it because I've been kind of like saying it for since the beginning. Like they're all so nice. The crew is so nice. I have no issue with them as people. It's just like I don't feel comfortable walking in to something Ethan's built. Like I thought Frenemies we were building together like from the beginning was like 5% goes to the to help the crew and then the other goes to production cost so I thought we were like building something like building it was going to be like a bigger like set bigger things bigger vlogs but it's just like I felt uncomfortable with bus situation just it's it's his people they have their jokes and you know their friends everyone on the bus was like their girlfriend which is they were all so sweet and wonderful there's nothing to say it's just like you know it's not we don't have camera and we don't have sound people like I guess I'm just like I don't know, and a lot of people are gonna be like, okay, you're so ungrateful, like, the, that crew does H3, and they do, but if I knew I was coming in as a third H3 show, like, I I swear, hand to God, would not have done it. Um, I'm sure this makes me sound even worse, but I'm just, like, having so much anxiety, and, you know, from the beginning, like, I, from, like, the first episodes of me being on H3, like, the guys rating how I look, and if they would, you know, or it was, like, if they would date me or have sex with me or something from the very beginning was just like it made me uncomfortable i've said it. if you look at the very first h3 thing interview that like i was like i would always i get be rude i guess because i was so uncomfortable with and if it it, it, it it just could be sense of humor and jokes which i don't get and i and i just don't vibe with and like that was my frustration is like and should I have been brought up all off camera absolutely and i feel like i have and um you know, so I, I did a whole video just being so upset by like, you know, A, B, and then like I forgave, you know, or not forgave him, but I like looked past it because I don't even know if he did anything, you know, for me, it was like really hard. And even from the beginning, like, I don't know, I just, <laughs> sorry, this is so old. Because then he's like, basically the crew doesn't want to film tomorrow. And I get that, but then again, that's why I just wanted it to be separate. I just wanted it to be separate, you know, because now it is personal feelings attached. Like he's like, the person that made the segment was a, was upset. And um, the person that that person's dating also works there. So like he's upset for her and doesn't want to like work. And I, and it's like, but it's, it just sucks. It just sucks. And I just realized that like, it's not it's not a place for me. Like they, they do have their system and it runs smoothly. And of course they've been having a podcast for a long time. And like, they should, con like they, and even in front of me, it's like, he said it himself, like it's H3 production. Like I'm the talent, like it should continue because it's such a good format. And, um, I think Ethan would do like great with another host. I just, like, I just know for me, like it just, I don't know. Like I just, <sighs> It was so good, right? Like when we weren't like, even at the end, I just wanted to like leave and just end it. And I just didn't want to be that person to walk off and cry because like I'm really trying hard to like not quit things and not let my emotions get the best of me. And I really, I guess when it just like wasn't, he didn't want to end it. And I just, I just wanted to end it, you know? I just wanted to end it and get my peace of mind and, 
it just it, like to read the comments like she's manipulated by crying like I can't help but cry it just this burst of like emotions comes out like it really starts to feel like the walls are caving in and um and I just know that I but then when he you know we were gonna go ahead and do the thing and then he's like he texted late last night said actually the crew's not comfortable they thought you were really rude and he goes I thought you were really rude to the crew and in the way in my heart I just was like I I just I I I, I'm not really sorry for it and I know that makes me look like an asshole but I'm just not because I have invented these frustrations before um you know I just I just wish I had one person on my side there you know Moses he doesn't count he doesn't he's not contributing even when we were filming one of the crew members was like I'm shaky before we even started and I said oh why don't you hand the camera to Moses and he's like no no he's got it and it's such a small thing but it's just something where I just feel like okay like it really and then yesterday, just, you know, hearing that, like, you know, he's the producer and he does everything when I just, I really tried hard to contribute and I really tried hard to like bring my own stuff every week. And I, I feel like I did. I feel like I had topics and stuff and it's just, um, like it hurt me and I don't, I'm not, I'm not playing the victim. I'm just, I don't, I, I can't watch it back because, um, obviously popular opinion is that um you know I was being rude but like in my heart when I left that day I just was like I don't feel I don't feel like this is for me you know and I think the best thing for me to do is like step down when it's like no longer serving me and I will say for the record like even and Kayla have been like so freaking kind to me like and I I hope it doesn't affect our like personal relationship because, like, obviously, like, they are, like, gotta be family. Like, I really, like, I really love them. But, you know, at the same time, I always say, like, don't work with family. Don't work with people you're close with. And, like, I kind of, like, feel that, you know, right? Like, um, oh, God, because it's just, like, we just see things so differently. And um, I just want to make it clear that it's it's not about money and even yesterday I was like I don't want more money I just want to make the show better I want to make it the show like let's get cameraman you know let's get which isn't that expensive for like daily shoots you know I, I do them all the time like not even my music videos but like you know my dish with Trish I hired like for two camera guys and um a producer that I like and you know like and I, and again, I really, especially Dan, like, I actually really love Dan. Like, it started out kind of, like, rocky at the very beginning when he, like, just didn't want me as a guest. Like, going on the first H-train, this was years ago, so I'm, like, over it, but, like, going on there and feeling like someone doesn't want you as a guest, like, that's, it was hard. It's hard, but obviously it's so different. Like, I was going to, like, invite him to my wedding. Like, I really, I really like Dan, and I feel like he's, he's pretty balanced and fair, so... I just know like I would be uncomfortable to go back like it's just you know what I mean I don't want to be that person that everyone is on eggshells for like that's not it you know and I, I think you know they're very they're all very close right like it's it's people that are like date you know married or dating each other you know they're all like close it's a close family and they've been together for a while and it's like I am not I just I just don't fit in and I may you know, I guess I, I, I do need to apologize. Like, I, I do need to apologize, like, for the delivery of how I said it, you know? But I just... I feel, um, I feel really, really icky about the situation. And, and, um... And I really do think it's because I just don't, I just, I, I don't fit in. And it sucks because like, I think I don't fit in a lot of things, but <laughs> you know what I mean? But I think this is a really, for me, it, it is strictly a professional, or a, I guess like a, I don't know how to describe it. It's really, it's not personal, I guess. Like, it's really removing myself from a situation that I just don't feel comfortable in, you know, and Again, everyone is like really nice. And so like, I really, I really do apologize for offending, you know, I, um, I like replayed it. And like, even in our discussions, I remember telling Ethan, like, I, I don't feel like I was, I was rude, you know, and I guess I'm just like that. I guess I just need more reflection on, you know, I just, I haven't watched it back. I just know at the time that I just felt so 
awful and it just felt like I had to get out of there and it just and it is embarrassing right like it is embarrassing and to kind of be like reprimanded last night like you were extremely rude to them like you need a couple days to cool off it's like I'm not I'm not a child and I just I think everyone there is like a family and they take it it's 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 um it's a lot more personal when I said the segment sucked like I've had ideas like shot down I was talked over when I was talking about trans people getting killed you know what I mean and like yes I should have said something but in my in my in that moment I literally just thought to say this segment sucked which I kind of said from the beginning like I thought it was fake questions like I just it's whatever and I'm 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 sure um it just sucks it just sucks because for enemies was like really fun for me until it wasn't right like it was I love dressing up I love looking for Oh, the costumes. I just want to address this because so many people were like, um, Trisha's crazy. Like, she does put the costumes. It's like, I was always for them. Like, I always do. But I think most of the costume ideas either came from top comments or Reddit. Even the Beetlejuice one. Like, of course I'm down to do them. Like, I, I got all the costumes. Like, every week from the Justin Britney one on, like, I had my guy make all of the costumes and I was happy to do it. Like, I didn't, he even the first time he was like, oh, like, should I give you money? I was like, don't even worry about it because I, I genuinely was happy to provide costumes. Like, I, I, cause I love that part of the show, but I, I, I'm really like trying to like think, like, I really don't think I've ever suggested one of the costumes because they were, you know, they were like, I, I don't know, they, but they were always fun. Like, I always wanted to do them. Like, I don't want them to be like that, but people are like, Trisha's picked all the costumes, unless you're talking about like costumes I've worn on the show, but like, as far as our duo co costumes, like, I actually, um, I, I, I really, I had to like go through because I was like, okay, let me just not misspeak, but not that that's a big deal, but it's just like, I see, I see, it's just like, I do care about what the comments of frenemies say because those are people who like supported the show and like the show and like, like obviously me and Ethan. So I really just felt awful, like anxiety last night, this night reading the comments be like, oh, like, um, um, that I let people down, that people are upset with me and like that I didn't want to do, um. Okay, I'm gonna go. Um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So I um, I, I just I think it's best that I stepped out. Um, I, I did say that to Ethan last night, and I did um, you know, because I had said it originally, and I just I just don't think you know. I just don't think it's like good for good for me anymore. It really sucks. It really sucks because it's such a fun show and it's like one of the most popular things I've been a part of that people are actually behind me and it just, you know, it's just, it is what it is and um, I, I hope they continue it for real. Like I think, because Ethan, you know, he did have the idea. He's like, I've always wanted to to do another podcast. Um, he had said in like the first episode with a female comedian, but I went with you or whatever, obviously as a joke. And I think he would... Um, I think the show could be as equally successful because I don't think I can do a podcast with someone else and have it be the same. I, I do believe he can. I do think he does have, he carries a lot of the sense of humor of the show. Like I really do believe that. And I, and I loved it cause it was so different than like the H3. Like I was never a fan of the H3. Like I watched the after darks, but like just the, the H3 with like the people chiming. I just never was a fan of that. Um, just personal preference I just like other people like it was just too much like going on and I just didn't vibe with that show and I, I feel like I've always been vocal about that or whatever so like it was such a different Ethan he wasn't political he wasn't which again is like I know so many people love him for that and his h trees kill it and stuff like that so I just liked being like this person that like has the same issues with food and like gossips and, like he <laughs> I kind of just always had my back like you know what I mean like he really did have my back with like every situation and like he's the one who brought light to like the David Dobrik stuff and like got other people to trust in him and share their stories and I just he really did do a lot and I know he had my back and again this is not my issue with him it's just me not feeling the best in a situation and letting down the audience like I I really did and and that I'm really I'm sorry but I just I'm not sorry for how I feel and I, I just I guess I just I'm not good at expressing myself it's probably why I don't hire assistants like I don't I need help 
you know, I'm trying to open up a shop here and a store and we're trying to like do this like food place here and it's like, I do need help, but I'm so, I'm so scared because I know how I am around just other people. Like I get high stress, high anxiety. I, um, anyways, Thank you guys seriously for all the support on front of me and thank you Ethan and Ela for like even it really was like I, I but I, I feel like I've always been appreciative and it just sucks that like people think I'm not because I really do appreciate like all all the work and like I really wish I could have contributed more you know I really do because I, I feel like I am pretty creative and have good ideas and I just I wish I could have contributed a little more and like I guess I should have just brought it up a different way, but I, I am thankful for everything they've all done and the show. And, um, and I really, I, 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 I really, I hope this didn't come across. I feel like it did. And I feel like I'm just stupid, but I feel like I need to put this out there because I just, like, I feel stupid. <laughs> I feel stupid, but at the same time, like, I just feel like this is the best decision, so. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I really, I don't know where this is coming from. I mean, you know where it's coming from. I got, you know, it's upsetting. It's, like, losing something that, like, I really felt, like, was such a good thing. So, I don't know. I'm going to go. And, um, I will, um, see you guys soon. I still i actually have glam right now i'm actually like getting glam right now because we had a shoot scheduled for today and i was canceled at like 10 o'clock last night which is fi again fine but like i didn't want to cancel on my hair and makeup people because i didn't want to cancel last minute i'm sure they could have booked other people so so now i gotta get glam <laughs> all right um bye and i really once again, I'm sorry to have disappointed, like, people. Like, I really, I really, really, really am sorry about that. Like, that does not, that's the worst. Okay, bye. <laughs>